I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a technique to solve word problems relating rational functions. So we are going to learn how to form rational equations and solve them after reading the word problem carefully. To help my students, I have taken a few examples from the book. This is from Nelson, page 286, question 10, advanced functions. The question is, the chocolate factory has two machines. Machine A takes S minutes to fill a case with chocolates and machine B takes S plus 10 minutes to fill a case. Working together, the two machines take 15 minutes to fill the case. Approximately how long does each machine take to fill a case? Now you'll come across many questions like this. In such questions, what we are trying to do is trying to relate rates. That is the whole idea. So most of the questions in rational functions can be solved by working on their rates. So let us figure out what is the rate at which the two machines are working, right? So let's write down rate for, let's say, machine A. Now, rate for machine A is the quantity of job done over time taken, right? So the job done is filling one case, right? So one whole case. So job done is one case and time taken by machine A is S minutes. For machine A, it is S minutes. So the rate for the machine A is 1 over S, right? So we find rate for machine A is 1 over S. And for machine B, it is how much? Machine B takes S plus 10 minutes to fill a case. So it is again one case. And time taken is S plus 10 minutes. Correct? The third case is, Working together, the two machine takes 15 minutes, right? So the rate for together, let's say machine T, right? Working together, the whole case is filled in 15 minutes. So it is 1 over 15. So that is how you can get rate for each thing, right? It's kind of very simple to understand now. Now we can equate them. Since the statement is, Working together, the two machines take 15 minutes. That means if I combine, combine their rates, I should get 1 over 15. That gives me my equation to solve. So the equation is 1 over s plus 1 over s plus 10 equals to 1 over 15. So we get a rational equation to solve. Now this equation is in one variable, so one equation is sufficient to solve. Remember one more thing, that is, we have restrictions, right? And sometimes when we solve rational equation, we get extraneous rules. So remember all that. So when you solve and get an answer, you have to check your answer whether it is meaningful or not for the given situation, correct? So these are the things which you have to keep in mind. Now, since we have an equation right there, and I hope you have understood how to get to this stage. Now, the steps to follow is to solve any rational equation. That means we have fractions involved. Take common denominator, right? So, we can take common denominator. The common denominator here is S times S plus 10. To make S times S plus 10, we have to multiply the first term by S plus 10. The second term by S and we get 1 over 15. Now, whenever we have a situation like this, which is kind of a ratio, you can cross multiply, okay? So let us cross multiply, so we get 15 times. At this stage, I'm combining these two s, which gives me 2s plus 10 equals to 1 times s, let me open this while I write here, s times s is s squared plus 10 times s is 10s, okay? Well, you should do in steps because I want to finish the problem in half of the page. So I'm kind of combining few steps. Now apply the distributive property, expand and simplify, right? 15 times 2 is 30, so we get 30s plus 150 equals to s squared plus 10s, right? 
So what you get here is a quadratic equation which you can now solve. So let us take all these terms to the right side and then solve them. So we have s squared, so I prefer to write that part first, s squared plus 10s. Bringing these terms to the right gives us minus 30s minus 150 equals to 0. Right? So, so let me combine these two terms also. We get s squared plus 20s minus, I think, yeah, minus 20s minus 150 equals to 0. So at this stage, what you can do is you can apply the quadratic formula and find the answer, right? So s will be equals to minus of b, which is minus 20 minus is plus 20, right? So let me write 20 here, plus minus square root of b square, which is minus 20 square. Okay, let me write minus 20. Let me write minus of minus 20. Okay. Minus 20 square, square root of minus 4 times a and c. So 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 150 divided by 2 times a which is 1. Right. So that is direct application of the formula. Now you can use your calculator, right, since there could be lot of uh, decimals involved in this, right? So let me simplify it to one stage, plus minus square root of minus 20 squared is 400, minus minus becomes plus, right? This becomes 600, 4 times 150, divided by 2, correct? So that is 1000, right? So 600 plus 400 is 1000. So you need to have square root of 1000. Add and subtract from 20, divide by 2. So let's use the calculator now. Okay. So we'll use square root of 400 plus 600, which is equal to 10 square root 10. Let's write it in decimals, 31.62, right? Now, if I subtract 31.62 from 20, I'll get negative number, which is not valid. So we'll use the positive number. So we'll add 20 to this. And we get something which is in decimals 51.62, which we have to divide by 2. Giving us in decimals, this is equal to, let me write here itself, 21, 25.8. 25.8. Eight. So round it to approximately 25.8. So that is the value of S, correct? Now S is what? S is machine A takes S minutes to fill a case, right? That is S. And B takes S plus 10. So for A, what is the time it takes? Time taken is 25.8 minutes. And for B, time taken will be 10 more, right? So it is 25.8 plus 10, that is 35.8 minutes, right? So approximately how long does each machine take to fill? So that is approximately, you can write 26 minutes and 36 minutes, right? So approximately, let's write this approximately as 26 minutes. And for B, it is 36 minutes. I hope the steps are very clear and you understand how to solve it. We'll take a couple of questions which are kind of similar. So in the next video, I'd like you to pause the video solve it yourself and then check with my solution. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.